and welcome to the Juke and the Flex. As always, I'm your host, the Juke. Who else would I be? Anyways, this is another deck tech video. I just wanted to change up my intro for my deck tech videos. So here we are. Anyways, enjoy. This deck runs so well, and it does what it does well. It doesn't always win, but it does what it does well. I really like my cleric deck. It doesn't have a fancy name. It's just my cleric deck. So we, why don't we go through my cleric deck and see what it has, okay? So, first off, we have children of chorus. One, two, three, four. Leon Elder. This deck actually doesn't run any artifacts, but my opponents might. Just in case, running a one of Leon Elder in case my opponents play artifacts. And those are my five one drops. Now we're on to my two drops with Battlefield Medic. Which I have two of. Blight Speaker. Yes, I can ping a player for a light, but I can also search for the Blight Speaker or a Child Chaos. And there's a full playset of them. Now it's on to the Safe of Grace, which I have one, two of them. And there's a Safe of Malice. Just one. Disciple of Law. I have two Disciple of Laws, two Disciple of Graces, and one Disciple of Malice. So five Disciples. The good thing about Disciples is they have protection from certain cards if I need that. But the better part is they replace themselves with a different card if I need to draw, look for different cards. Shepherd of Heart. Ping my opponents. And me. Two Shepherds of Art. The Dreaded Sutra Priest. Whenever a creature comes into the battlefield out of my control, I gain life. And my opponents lose life when they play creatures. Four of them. Now on to my four sets. And the main reason I built this deck, Edgewalker. You play an edge walker for three. Next turn you play an edge walker for one. Two. Three. Four edge walkers. I need some way to deal with creatures and keep on the theme of clerics. So why not a fiend hunter? To get rid of those nasty baddies our bonus have. One. Two. Three. Or Fiend Hunters. And for when I just can't deal with my opponent's creatures. When I need something to make them... When I need some way to make the big stompy not be able to attack me. I have a Whip, Grass, and Tangle. One, two of them. Doubtless one. Pseudo Life Rank. And he's big. Only three of them though, because he only one kind of mana, and then Edgewalker will only reduce it by one. But Decon is pretty much the same thing, except for it's only big when attacking, and I can reduce it by two. And that is all my creatures. Now, the de this deck was running into a problem at one point where you would empty your hand and not be able to do anything. So I figured a way to fix that would be no prophecy. I can just play spells, draw cards, play clerics, draw cards. And there's two no prophecies in this deck. Then we move on to the land. How much land does this deck run? 
Volk of the Archangel for when I need to swing with a Deltless one or a Vile Deacon, I can gain an all of life. There's one of them. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight swamps. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven planes, one vault, eight swamps, eleven planes is ten mana, twenty mana, twenty land. Yes, this deck has twenty land, and if you are counting the other cards, you would notice that this deck isn't quite 60 cards, it's 61 cards. Yes, my Kinetic deck is 61 cards, but it works, it does what it does very well, and I like it. Therefore, I want to keep it at 61 cards. Anyways, comment, baby, and see you in the next video.